don't drink enough, so I thought I'd stop by the booth for the Bartesian. Bartesian. Bartesian, yes. sorry. Neil is already correcting me here. Neil Mc, McVicker, yes, correct? that's me. All right, so what are we looking at here? Sure, so this is Bartesian. Um, you keep it stocked with the brands of your choice, uh, the foundational spirits, whiskey, vodka, rum, gin, tequila, and there's also a water source back here. Now, our capsules have all of the uh, juices and bitters and extracts, all of the components above and beyond the spirits that go into making a premium cocktail. So I should explain to the audio only listeners as well that basically we're looking at a Keurig for cocktails, right? Uh, you wouldn't be the first person to make that comparison, absolutely, absolutely. So on the, uh, on the screen here, you've, mm. got, uh, you've got a display and then you're, you've got a, this, what did you call these little capsule? capsules? Capsules, yeah, okay. Absolutely. So that says pear nectar? Uh, this is it says paper plane. Yes, paper it's a, plane. It's a okay. relatively. It's a modern cocktail. It was actually only. It's only about three years old. Oh, I'm old. But I gotta. It, I gotta find out about. It'll become a classic, though. Okay. Absolutely. So yeah, essentially the process. I'll just get this capsule out. So Bloomingdale. So he just took out the capsule, and he's got a. Uh, it's maybe twice the size of a Keurig is the way I would describe uh, it's, it. It's. Uh, I don't know about twice the size, but. Uh, Twice the width, maybe. Oh, okay. And it's it's four upside down bottles of the uh, the four different liquors that you can put in. Right, that's correct. So it can, in one of the slots can be uh, either gin or rum. So we can accommodate five spirits, uh, four of them at one at any one time. Got a better. All right. So um, he's going to uh, try. To, he's making a lot of drinks. He needs a place to get rid of them all. Is the only problem. All right, so he's he's putting a uh, uh, what looks. A I'm, I'm, I make martinis in right. these shaker. Right. Okay. So yeah, a shaker. Uh, then I've taken my uh, my cocktail capsule here. And, oh, and it's got a barcode on the top of Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I close the lid, and you can see it's identified the drink already. It says place shaker with ice under the dispenser. That's it correct. says next. Oh, can I'll I push it? Oh, oh right. I wanted to okay. do well, it. Well, you can do is hit, hit light. We'll make a light one. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm because we've got. Uh, oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. That is not my drink. Now I'm go just ahead in. And press mix. Okay. And you can we'll see it's drawing from the whiskey here. It's good. All right, so the whiskey is uh, is draining quickly. It's also drawing from the water. And what's important also is that each spirit draws from its own line. So that way, if we did a margarita next, the tequila isn't going over the same line that the whiskey just traveled over. That would be nasty. Right. So you buy these, uh, the little capsules, and you uh, you buy these, you put your own liquor in them. Right. And, and the advantage of this, I heard you saying earlier to someone, is that you don't have to buy all the weird little ingredients to exactly. make cocktails. Exactly. So when you think of how many times you might have had, say, a New Year's Eve party, and you bought a big tin of pineapple juice, only to use a couple ounces that night, and the rest of it is growing fur in your fridge a couple of days later. Yeah, yeah, well, how did you know that? <laughs> well, it's a very common occurrence. Uh, but you take that and all of those components, some of them are really obscure, you wouldn't even know where to get, say a lavender extract, for example. All of those components uh, are taken care of in the capsule. The only thing you need to provide are the base spirits themselves. That is really, really cool. So you buy, you buy packs of them. Here's Negroni cocktail mix. We got a mint julep cocktail, Sazerac. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something uh, that was a stone in uh, Infinity <laughs> Stones. It's the Tesseract, I think, right? Oh, we got a Gimlet. Mm -hmm. This is really, really slick. So is, uh, is this on the market yet? It is. It's available on Bartesian.com, and we're expanding retail partners. We're on Amazon, uh, Bloomingdale's, Bed Bath & Beyond, Best Buy, Dillard's, and it will be growing rapidly throughout the year. And what's the price point on this? Uh, 349 Hey, that's not bad. Absolutely. That is, uh, I thought this was going to be one of those crazy expensive things. All that liquor is what's going to cost it, me the yeah, money. But, but think of the money I'm going to save on pineapple juice, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly that. Saving money right here. Already, right? saving money already. And the, and the capsules are recyclable, which is very important as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's very good. Absolutely. Okay, so Bartesian.com. That's it, that's right. it. Thank you very much, Neil. Thank you, my pleasure.